A news report now on BBC One. Peter Sissons is in the newsroom. At least two people are now known to have died in tonight's bomb explosion in Soho in central London. There are up to 30 other casualties. Police have confirmed that it was a nail bomb and they're linking it to the two other nail bomb attacks in London over the last two weekends. Full details on the 9 o'clock news. This is BBC One. Just after half past six at a Soho pub popular with gays, the Admiral Duncan on Old Compton Street. There was no warning, no hint of the devastation that was to befall these people as they relaxed on a sunny evening at the start of a bank holiday weekend. The device exploded around 6.30. The target, a gay pub, the Admiral Duncan in Soho's Old Compton Street. People there have spoken of individuals being thrown 30 feet across the road by the force of the blast. Eyewitnesses talked of hearing a loud explosion, like a clap of thunder. They described scenes of chaos and carnage. All we heard was a huge thing, yeah, and everyone just went, BAM! Yes. On the floor, yeah, and loads of people just went, like this, yeah? Car skidded. Like went over across the road, a motorbike just went over as well. And the next thing we knew, was everyone was on the floor. Absolutely, everybody was on the floor. I mean, the windows went out, the whole thing went, went completely. The glass went everywhere. People ran out of the place, walking on the street. The guy here you see on the floor. I mean, he's like, uh, he's burnt by the bomb blast. I and mean, that is how close he was. The police immediately started to clear the area. No easy task, as the place was heaving with people. Their job complicated by talk of a second device. Some of the more seriously injured were dealt with on the street. Drips were attached, and emergency services asked nearby pubs for ice to help with burns. Immediately, people connected this attack to the other two nail bombs in London in the past fortnight. Uh, I have to say, I believe that this is linked to the other cowardly attacks that have occurred in London over the last few days. No, I can't. It is too early to estimate casualties, but clearly there are a substantial number of casualties just from the number of ambulances uh, that had to attend the scene. Are we talking dozens of casualties? We are talking certainly double figures. Two dead, dozens injured. London is reeling from the third such bomb attack in recent weeks on one of the capital's minority communities. Peter Hunt, BBC News. Yeah, OK. And Jane Peel is in Soho at the scene now. Jane, what's, uh, what more can you tell us? Well, this area of central London would normally be bustling with people at this time on a Friday evening. Uh, really, virtually the whole of Soho is now cordoned off. Um, the scene of the explosion is some 300 yards behind me. We've been moved away from the area. Uh, we were able to get slightly close to the scene earlier on when some 17 ambulances were called to take away the casualties. But the latest information we have from here is that uh, indeed two people are dead and a, a number are seriously injured. And there's no doubt that this is part of the Brixton and Brick Lane bombing campaign. Uh, I think not. Uh, as you've heard uh, Deputy Assistant Commissioner Alan Fry say, he believed that there were links. Uh, the casualties had signs of a nail bomb. And uh, interestingly, this week's Pink Paper, the national newspaper for the gay community, uh, had this headline, Gays on Fascist Bomb Alert, saying that the Home Office, the police and uh, businesses had warned uh, the gay community to be on their guard because they may be the targets of the nail bombers, uh, these far right either small groups or, or individuals who are believed to be behind both the Brixton and the Brick Lane bombs. Uh, certainly many people thought that another ethnic minority community might be targeted this weekend, perhaps the Jewish community. Um, I think there were many in the gay community who, who will have heard about these, uh, these uh, possible rumours. There was certainly no direct evidence that they were under threat, um, but wouldn't have, have wanted to be swayed from doing what they normally do and, and coming to this area, which is uh, the heart of London's gay community. I'm sure they didn't think that they were really going to be targeted by this individual or small groups of uh, a group of individuals who've been carrying out this campaign. Jane Peel in Soho, thank you. And now Valerie Jones is at University College Hospital where many of the casualties have been taken. And Valerie, what's the latest on the casualties? 
We've got no official information from the hospital here about the number of casualties or the injuries, but we know that the hospital is on a full-scale emergency. Uh, initially, we had about uh, seven ambulances arrived in 15 minutes, as you can hear. Uh, more vehicles now leaving behind me. Another medical team apparently setting out. After those first seven ambulances had arrived earlier on, uh, we then had more ambulances arriving and in fact I've just seen there's been another patient being carried away from this hospital in that in that van. We know some of the injuries here are very serious. One person was seen being taken out of the back of an ambulance having his heart pumped. Uh, we're still waiting for any official details but we know that staff were called in in an emergency. They came here running some of them still in their ordinary clothes. They'd obviously been at home or just on a night out to get to the hospital quickly. Valerie Jones, thank you. Well, I'm joined now on the line by the Home Secretary, Jack Straw.